What is food security and how does it change as people get older? So have you heard the term food security before? No, it's not who you call when someone steals your yogurt out of the work fridge, but it might be easier to define food insecurity. Food insecurity is a limited availability of food that is adequate in either quantity or composition. People who are food insecure have a higher risk of health problems. Nutrition is one of the social determinants of health. So what happens as people get older? Are they more likely to be food insecure? Well, in a lot of countries, yes. But in Canada, actually, the risk of food insecurity goes down with older age. That may be due in a large part because we have a Canada pension plan. So every older adult, over 65 anyway, has access to a basic guaranteed income. And so that makes a person less likely to have food insecurity. So in Canada, there seems to be less food insecurity in older people. But that doesn't mean that it's still not an important challenge. Older adults who are food insecure are more likely to be frail. And remember, frailty is that state of increased vulnerability, and it puts people at greater risk of getting sick or disabled with even minor health challenges. In Canada, food insecurity, even in older adults, is very closely related to income. And there seem to be regional variations as well. So older adults in the North are five times more likely to have food insecurity than those who aren't in the North. There are a couple of tools that could be used in a doctor's office to screen for whether or not someone has food insecurity or malnutrition. So the first one is called the Household Food Security Survey Module. And it contains questions about how easy it is to purchase and obtain food and also some questions about how often people in the household have had to go without food. Based on the score from that module, a person can either be classified as food secure or food insecure, either moderate or severe. The mini nutritional assessment is a different tool. It's been around for a long time and it's designed to screen for older adults who are at risk of malnutrition. It contains questions about uh, whether or not somebody has reduced their food intake and they also specify that that's not because of um, it, an inability to access food. It's more just because the person um, has had changes in appetite or chewing or swallowing. So it's more about actually eating and processing the food rather than obtaining the food. There are questions about weight loss as well. And also some questions about the person's current uh, body mass index. So that's um, a marker of their body composition. It's um, an index of the weight and the height. It's sort of a sign of how big people are. Now, I should say that it's kind of confusing because people who are food insecure can have obesity. So they might have an elevated body mass index, even though they have food insecurity. That can be because people who have food insecurity are less able to make choices about healthy foods and might be more likely to eat foods that um, have calories but don't have the other nutrients that are needed for good health. The mini nutritional assessment also has questions about mobility and about psychological challenges that the older adult might have. So what if a person is food insecure or malnourished and they're older? What are some strategies that we can use to try to rectify that? Well, it can depend a little bit on what the actual nutritional challenge is. So for some people, it's a matter of getting the right types of nutrients, and that can be done with changing the person's diet or adding some supplements. But if it's compounded by food insecurity, then the solutions are likely to be more social. And that's probably going to vary depending on where the person lives and what resources are available. But examples might be a um, meal delivery service like Meals on Wheels or a congregate dining program. A lot of communities have those for older adults that are low cost or sometimes even no cost. And they may be part of a social program too. So that has an added benefit for older adults. 
There are things like uh, food pantries or uh, food banks and soup kitchens, and those can be used um, in most communities. Oftentimes they're used by people who are the most food insecure. I hope this video was helpful in introducing the concept of food security and food insecurity. Even though older adults in Canada are less likely to be food insecure, it can still be an important problem. And some of the ways that address food insecurity can have other benefits for older adults as well. Thanks for watching, and if you want to know more about aging in general, go to www.therinkle.ca.